What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm going to be playing on, is it, is it Nora? Nora? I, I know some of you Aussies help me in the, uh, help me in the comments how you exactly pronounce it. Um, but this is a track that's not been out for very long, however, everyone that I've spoken to seems to absolutely love it. Uh, I hopped into an online lobby today and I thought just to mix things up, I'm going to hop on the altar just to see how it goes and hopefully we can get a race going in this server. And just from, I've done a lap just now of uh, just of practice. The track is so good when it gets rough as well, and that's a very, uh, very rare thing. So I'm actually hoping that when the air, well, when the national season comes around, oh, we'll be able to get some uh, races going on this track because it does seem like it'd be really, really good. Um, and oddly enough, what are the chances of this? I hop in on an altar. We've got another altar in here as well. So I just thought that was quite funny, quite a cool coincidence. Um, uh, Fafleto's quite a, a fast guy. And I think he's on the 250 equivalent and I'm on the 451 and he's still faster than me in lap time. So uh, I'll join you again as usual when the race is going to start. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, you just, you love to see it when the first time you vote for a race, it all goes through. Happy days. Oh, I hate spending time, like, just wasted away in sessions. So, we've got Fafleto all the way over the far right there. He's got the yellow version of the bike. We've only got one, two, three, four, five, including me, six, seven people, I think, for this. Um, you, there's no clutch, obviously, on the altar, so I'm probably going to get a terrible start. You can't really, like, pre... pre rev, if that makes sense. Um, so you just kind of got to go when the gate drops, even if I'm... Oh, I suppose I can hold the brake in. Let me try holding the brake in and being very gentle on the throttle as well. Let's see how this goes. And I fully expect to do like a backflip out the gate. Oh no, that's fine. So the altar is very weird. So obviously being an electric bike, it is very, very talky. That's not a good start whatsoever. Oh my god. <laughs> At least it didn't go down. Yeah, it's very talky. So uh, you'll find if you're in the air, for example, and you bang the throttle open, the front wheel will come up very, very quickly. Um, but then at the same time, you just... It, it's feels like it's got no grunt which is a really weird combination to have um i've got it set up so i've got it on overclocked so like the i don't know what we'd call it the fastest you can go and then i've almost got it on full acceleration except for one click so should hopefully have some good oomph out the corners as on this track there's not really any like super super long high speed sections of track um you don't really need to be going above kind of like 50 ish miles an hour or so anywhere so i kind of got it set up for more of an acceleration type setup and hopefully it goes okay well, FO, FA's right on my uh, right on my booty over here. This oh, this part of the track is so difficult as well, uh, especially on the 450s. I found they just want to wheel spin everywhere, and I, I'm not sure what dirt type this track is. I don't think it is sand, like proper sand. Um, but 250 definitely the way to go around here over a 450. Just in terms of uh, just speed and traction. I was playing with uh, Rum on this track the other day, and he was on the 250, and even on the straights, just just pulling away from me. Which is, which is quite sad. I hope that is something that gets addressed soon on the game because at the end of the day, I mean, it doesn't matter how good of a rider you are, you are really in a straight line on a 450, you should be pulling away from a 250. Um, you can disagree with that as much as you like. That's just my opinion. And oh my God, there's a horrible vortex right there. Oh, get up and over this, please. Oh, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. No, oh God. I'll spin around, I don't want to take out FA, try and turn in a, a tight line. There we go. Oh, so the, yeah, these two boys in front of us are very good. No, but, uh, Gonna mispronounce everyone's names. Baboom, baboom. <laughs> he's uh, he's always good at nationals. I've raced in a few of the like uh, French series against him. Uh, oh, everyone got a second cut there. That's that's all right. At least everyone everyone got it. it wasn't just me. Um, so yeah, these these boys are gonna be fast. So hopefully this should make for an interesting video, not just me disappearing at the front for a change. So I was quite surprised to find anyone really in these servers. I, I did originally try joining a server on Washougal. It had like 16 people, but some, I just kept getting the internal error one error. I, I, I don't know why, I don't know how you go about fixing it, because it was one of the official Steam servers, so I shouldn't have any trouble joining it at all. Um, exactly like this is. This is a Steam server as well, and I managed to hop into this one, no problem. So a bit disappointing, because uh, Washougal, or Washington, whatever you want to call it as in-game, uh, is my one of my favourites of the stock tracks, but I have been meaning to do a video on this track for a couple days now, and I know that I've had comments even asking me to do this track, so it's kind of uh, make make the best of it. I would have liked a slightly more populated server, however, as you can see, it doesn't matter how many people you've got, as long as you've got a couple of the fast boys in here, it's going to make for a lot more interesting video, and I'm actually really surprised that we're all kind of staying around the same speed right now, although saying that, I am try my absolute ass off like this this is not an easy bike to ride uh, I, i'm someone that quite often uses the gears to limit my speed whether it be under braking or how fast i need to hit a certain jump i'll have it worked out in my head what gear i need to be in to kind of clear a jump perfectly or uh, hit a corner as smooth as i can so not having those gears to be able to do that on oh hang on i'm like 
Oh, I didn't expect him to scrub it. Oh, thank God we didn't. <laughs> I don't know if you can see my end of my front room. Yeah, I am. Okay. God, that was an, that was an interesting two corners, wasn't it? Um, so, yeah, not having the gears actually is, is messing with me a little bit. Um, but it's something I'm slowly going to try and get get the hang of. I have this lovely skin made by my mod, Sorrow. He seems to make uh, make a lot of bikes for me. I do I do appreciate it. And uh, big shout out to him. Uh, he does make custom skins, though. If you want if you want anything made for you, slide in his DMs on, on Discord. Um, it's charged, though, so don't just go rocking up thinking you're going to get something for free. Because... Uh, He's a busy, busy man, so he needs to uh, get something out of it, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, he's, <laughs> I quite like the what he's done with the uh, the handlebars here, just like sub to Linz, and he's got the YouTube um, kind of link there. I think that's really, really cool. And there's not many kind of alter skins out there, so nice that I've got something that looks good. And you, you can download this skin if you want. Um, it's on the MXB Mods page. I'm, I will try. I'm, I can't promise anything because I usually edit these like a day or two after I've recorded them and such. I will try to remember to include the link to this bike if you want to use it yourself um, there is a mx1 and an mx2 version so it doesn't matter what one you want to ride uh, but maybe it will just uh, encourage more people to to ride the Ultra. you know it's a i don't want to say it's an underrated bike because from my shootout video that i've done you can see that it is very severely underpowered compared to the rest of the um the bikes in that class however it, it is a fun bike to ride and something very very different you, you hop on this bike for the first time and you go to pull the clutch in and you just you go in a straight line or you go to change gear and you realize oh god i've got no gears nothing happens uh, but it is it is a fun bike uh, i imagine because i've got uh, stock suspension on this as well i imagine that with a decent suspension as well you could probably make it a little bit more competitive and for, for someone like me who without trying to toot my own horn or sound like an absolute dickhead when you go in most public servers that you go into do tend to be a little bit easy so adding something that makes it a little bit more of a challenge is really, really good and the Fafaleo is still right behind me this is really good really good racing I'm really enjoying this what was there on lap three oh about yeah about halfway and we've got three laps to go including this one um I, I never know so obviously we have batteries on these bikes rather than fuel I never know what the capacity is like so I don't know how far how, how, how long a distance of a race you could do because someone even suggested to me that I use this bike in like one of the pro races, so even Supercross. First of all, I cannot imagine how difficult that would be and how disadvantaged I'd be, especially in Supercross. Because these bikes, they, I feel like you've got to keep your speed up. You know, they're, they're not one to kind of, in Supercross where you kind of roll, roll a turn and, oh god, I've got this all wrong. And you want to triple straight out of a corner. They're not, oh, oh, oh hang on, my bad, I don't want to get into them. Like I, they're not ideal for that. that you really have to carry your speed so they're probably actually a little bit better for nationals than soupy um but then at the same time it could make an interesting video but then i i like winning <laughs> i think i like winning more than the sake of just making a video a little bit more interesting or a little bit different so definitely uh an odd one maybe maybe i wouldn't do it in like the actual aerial series uh, maybe something a little bit less important like there's there's always nationals or super series going on on the uh the my mxb website so I'm, I'm sure i could have a look at have a look at one of those and could might even be able to get a nice little uh it's not clickbait is it but more of an interesting titles like i want a pro race on an altar or, or something like that i'm always trying to think of things in my mind that will be a bit more appealing to you guys i'm gonna have to scrub this this time i've got nowhere near enough speed to go over that oh faffily has sent it this time oh he got over it as well God, this is such a good race and I, yeah i'm pretty sure that he is on the um on the mx2 equivalent so i should i don't know if i should be ashamed or not or if the power does make that much of a difference but if he is on that mx2 bike i, I know how slow that is i've ridden it and yeah, it's a very difficult thing to get moving so fair play to him uh, he's not someone that I race against too much anymore. I've not seen him in the Supercross scene, but he was quite regular when the national season was about. I believe he takes part in the CBMX, like the Brazilian championships as well on those bikes. Um, and he's been around for as long as I can remember. So I, I don't know how many hours he's got in the game, but yeah, he's a good, good rider. Um, fairly clean from what I remember. Well, I, I don't, um, I don't envy the Brazilian guys at all when they play on these servers with us because the netcode in MX bikes and the ping that they have to deal with surely doesn't make life very easy with people kind of floating about everywhere and kind of we're not on each other's screen where it looks like we are so it's probably quite difficult to avoid getting into accidents but no it's been a been a very good race so far but very lucky there that he's made a mistake but this there's something about this track that it just seems to flow so well it was it's been made by Maxime Baranchev and I, I played the MX Simulator uh, version of this as well and it seems so so identical i don't know if maxime kind of took the height map from sim and put it in this and modified it a bit or if it is literally from scratch um i'll have to double check that but 
either way, it still makes for a really, really good, really, really good track. I really enjoyed it in Sim as well, anyway. Oh, that's, oh bring that back around. Oh, God, 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 hang on. Oh, Poboso, why why does Poboso do this to me every time? He makes my bike face the wrong way. I can't get going either. No. Oh, we've only got one lap to go. I, I don't know. If we, I think I might have just thrown it away at the end here. I'm not going to go for that again either. I'm not going to get up and over it. Let's scrub that. Scrub this. Right, hang on. I need, I need to charge here. I need to try and catch Fafalito on this last lap. Although it's going to be uh, going to be a tall task. But yeah, really, I really enjoy this track. And everyone I've spoken to says they enjoy it as well, which is quite rare. Usually people tend to be a little bit split, especially on Nationals tracks. You know, you either, you either love them or hate them. Where, which way is this lap going? He's going outside, so I'm going to try and go inside. Oh, that's not a good run out of the corner. Did not want that. I would have been ideal if he went inside there and I could have just railed around the outside and carried my momentum. Try and be smooth. Oh, the back end's trying to come round on me. Just get over this, please. Yep, yeah, okay. On the gas, lean all the way back. Face into this, try and stay a little bit lower there on the right hand side. Oh, got a good good amount of speed around there, so I can scrub the triple nicely. You want to kind of make the middle rut here, because it just gives you a nice, nice slingshot onto this next straight. We're catching a little bit, but we are slow. We're running out of track, we're running out of time. All right, just nice and easy, up on the pegs, drop into the rut. Oh, I'm gonna go around the outside. I don't. I haven't taken this outside yet. I don't know what it's like. Oh, it wasn't bad. Oh, coming in, coming in hot, coming in hot. Right, slow it down a bit. Slow it down a bit. Gonna go outside here. Oh, this is this is a very good race. Like very good track for racing. I feel like as well. Just lots of different line choices. Oh, God, I'm gonna have to take middle. I don't think middle was very ideal here. Oh, around the outside. Oh, <laughs> I think he got the uh, went a little bit too tight on the inside there. Caused his front wheel to tuck. Come on, we've got like two corners left basically. Up on the pegs, up on the pegs, stay low over the bumps. Don't get a horrible kick. I'm not going to send this either, I'm going to scrub it. I guarantee he sends it over my head. He has. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One corner. Oh, stay on the track, stay on the track. Yes. I can rail this. Come on. And finish. Didn't get any cuts, did we? Oh, he crashed right at the end, pushing it. Oh, my. that was such a good race. Oh, look at the two autos out in front. That was so good. I really, really enjoyed that. Good race, Fafalio. Oh, and, well, I hope you boys have enjoyed that video as well. That was so much fun. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please do drop a like. I'd really, really appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, have a lovely rest of the day, wherever it is that you guys are up to. And until I catch you in the next video, peace. I'm working hard, I'm sacrificing my life, I'm sacrificing my mind, I'm sacrificing my sanity, but most importantly, I'm sacrificing my time, boy, I feel fine, I feel like I am a king, honestly, I can't complain, even with faith that's the size of a grain of some salt, I will still move a mountain and do what I want, I got to be with my mind.